What's going on, everybody? Zach Parks here, and thanks for stopping back in for this week's episode. Um, so, I know that I missed my upload last week, but things were just a little um, chaotic around here, so I just couldn't get around to it. Um, the weather wasn't wanting to cooperate either, so I just I couldn't get out to make any photos or anything like that. Um, so I apologize. Um, if you watched the last video, um, you know I was doing a print giveaway. So before I get started with this week's video, um, since I missed last week, I just wanna go ahead and announce the print winner. And the winner is Travis Kennedy. Um, I really hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, man. Uh, but. Travis, if you're watching this, head over to Instagram and shoot me a message. I'll get this guy in the uh, mail for you. Um, yeah, but thanks to everyone who uh, participated and just, uh, you know, left a comment, uh, thumbs up video, all that good stuff. Um, you know, I always appreciate that. But anyways, let's get going with this week's video. Um, what you guys are going to see today is I took the 4x5, um, my Intrepid Mark II, out um down to a uh, trail system here uh pretty close by um to the house uh, if you guys have been watching the channel for a while um, you've probably seen me down there at least once or twice before i had some sheets of velvia 50 and velvia 100 um loaded into my film holders uh, i ended up only shooting the four sheets of uh, velvia 50 that i had loaded but it was a nice day i was a uh, Hillary and I just had some time together to go for a walk. I figured I would fit in some shooting and a video and everything um, for y'all as well. Uh, I was trying to focus on um, some like close up. I, not really, I don't think I would say like macro photography, but I was um, definitely like focusing on like the details and um, stuff like that. Uh, a lot of uh, pine trees and like creeping vines up the trees and everything. Uh, it was good, it was fun. Um, I will say I was worried that these images weren't gonna come out great because I made the rookie mistake of forgetting about, or forgetting to factor in my bellows extension. Whenever you're shooting with a camera that has bellows on like a large format or the like Mamiya RB67 or Mamiya RZ67, um, you know, any of those cameras that have bellows, uh, whenever you're doing close-up photography or anything that requires you to have those bellows, fully extended, um, you have to compensate for that because it takes light longer to get to the film base and actually expose the image. So you have to compensate by um, overexposing a tad. Um, I think, I'm not, I'm not sure of the like full measurements or so. I, I wanna say it's like a full stop maybe um, when your bellows are fully extended or maybe it's like a stop and a half, something like that. But either way, I was just caught up having a good time shooting. Uh, my bellows were definitely, um, fully extended um, for a couple of the shots and I just did not think about it. But uh, luckily um, the images came out fine. Um, the negatives were a tad dark, but I was able to save it and post and just kind of brighten it up um, a little bit. Let's go ahead and roll with that footage and uh, I'll get back to you guys just shortly. Hope you enjoy. Just waiting for this guy to uh, let the lens or something at home. Oh, I see it now. <laughs> so this is what it's like under here. Nina, Nina. So uh, we're out here on Cottonwood Trails. Um, this is the trail. Uh, if you guys watch the channel, you've seen me down here before um, quite a few times. I have some expired Velvia 100 and some expired Velvia 50. Um, the 50 is what I'm about to shoot now on this. Uh, I've got a nice little detail shot lined up of uh, this little pine tree behind me. Um, I just took my meter reading. I'm getting uh, four seconds at an F45, and I'm gonna shoot that at F45 because I wanna get as much detail in there as I possibly can. Let's um, do this before somebody walks by. 
I want you to put like little laser sound effects, like pew. Wait, how is he? Pew pew pew. <laughs> I have a second composition lined up here. We're down here on Lawson's Fork. Um, got a little composition lined up here with this falling down tree and some like fungus growing on the tree. I think it looks pretty cool. Um, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna go for four seconds at a F45 again, um, same settings as the previous exposure. Um, and hopes that the four seconds will kind of smooth out the water flowing by the tree. Fingers crossed that it doesn't get overexposed. Your hair looks real strong. So that's two sheets down. He's so talented. I'm also like regretting this beanie. Did not think it was gonna be this one. Like sprinkles, I think they taste gross, but they're colorful. <laughs> that's well, okay. That's, that's a I, fair assessment. I like the ones that are like plasticky beads. You know what I'm talking <laughs> about? Like the hard ones. They're like little teeny tiny pebbles. Um, but like the long skinny ones that look like confetti. I don't like those. They're like just little fondant. I don't like them. It tastes gross. You're a wizard, Harry. I've got my lens fixed on this little tree behind me. Again, just getting some, just getting some detail shots. I really like the colors and everything going on too. And then you got the vine coming down the tree. I like the way it looks. I like the texture in the tree. I feel like if I get this right, it could look really fucking cool. But um, who knows? We're gonna go with the same exact exposure I've made for the past two. Um, it's a very overcast day, so the light's not really changing much. So I'm just gonna go again with four seconds at an F45. This is all there. That's a leaf. Thought it was a bug. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. How's it feel to be the cutest man alive? Pretty fucking sweet, actually. Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys, um, this is gonna be my last shot of the day. Again, another vine creeping up this tree. Uh, not really, not really breaking the mold with this one. Um, <laughs> but again, I think it looks pretty cool. So we're gonna go at F45 and four seconds again and just see what happens. Um, like I said in the last one, uh, it's very overcast day, so the light's not changing much, so it looks about the same to me. So yeah, I'm just gonna go with the same exact exposure I've been using all day. One 
Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi. That was four whole Mississippis. Nobody needs four Mississippis. All right, y'all. So there it was. That was our little walk um, down on the Cottonwood Trail. So uh, now let's uh, talk about some of these images. Um, the first one I made was uh, the close-up here of the uh, pine tree. I really just wanted to try and capture some of the detail in the uh, tree bark and everything, um, hence why I was shooting at F45 um, for all of these photos. Uh, I really just wanted to utilize that detail that you can get with a uh, 4x5 negative. <laughs> um, and uh, this certainly isn't my best composition. Um, I, I, I wish I would have done some things differently as far as the composition goes. But as far as like the detail, um, pretty blown away, um, especially by some film that's about 20 years expired. I really didn't know what to expect from it. So I'm pretty happy with the results. Um, yeah, as you can see, uh, this is uh, about a 100% crop. And I mean, as you can see, the uh, the detail is just a uh, phenomenal there and uh the colors i think worked out pretty well um it seems like this velvia 50 um being expired definitely has um some color shift going on but i kind of like it um i think it uh it's kind of just helping warm up the images. Um, so that is uh, quite nice actually, um, because I prefer a warmer image. Um, so let's move on to the second image, which is of um, the fallen down tree in the creek. Um, I think out of all of the images, um, as far as like exposure goes and everything, this was definitely my favorite one. Um, it just came out great. Uh, the colors are perfect. The detail in there is just insane. Um, I love the motion blur that I've got in the water from that four second exposure time. So yeah, really, really happy with this one. Um, I am going to have to rescan it because uh, I, I don't know if you can really see it here, but uh, the scanner definitely had some dust on it. So there's a line going all the way down the image. Um, not a big deal for this, but uh, if I decide to do anything else with it, I will definitely be rescanning it. Um, so here again is a 100% crop on this image. Uh, as you can see, the amount of detail that you get in a four by five negative is just insane. Um, the, the fungus, um, mushrooms, whatever they are, uh, growing on the side of the tree here, uh, you can, the detail is just insane. I love it. Um, it, I, I never seem to be amazed by it. Um, I can't imagine what this would look like on like a drum scan or something. Um, just uh, how much detail you could get in there. Uh, but anyways, let's move on to the next image, which is the close up shot of the um, creeping vines, uh, just going up the tree here. Uh, I really liked this one. I like that little hint of red here in the leaves. Uh, I don't know, I just thought it kind of, uh, it caught my eye. So I figured why the hell not. I did have to crop in on this image a little bit more than I normally would. Uh, I, um, I, I I don't know what I was doing. But, um, I, I somehow uh, thought I was closer than I was. I don't know. I, I ended up um, actually getting some of them behind the tree so so uh, I don't know I just threw off the whole image so I, I cropped in a little tighter so it was just the tree and the vines but yeah as you can see here is a uh, another 100% crop of this image and once again blown away by the details <laughs> um, if you got a drink in your hand uh, take a drink every time I uh, talk about the details on these negatives um, <laughs> or don't uh, you may regret it later <laughs> <laughs> um, anyways, on to the last one, and that is going to be the close-up of these, yet again, vines creeping up the tree. And uh, I do really like this one. Um, it's got a slightly interesting color cast going on um, in the tree bark. As you can see, it's a little more uh, magenta than I would like, and I fooled around with it a good bit, and this was about as good as I could get it. Um, and I'm okay with that, you know. Uh, I can always go back with some fresh film. To where uh, you know I know what my results are going to look like. Um, expired film is always a gamble, but I, I am super happy with how this stuff is looking for being 20 years old. Again, we'll look at another 100% uh, crop here of this image, and as you can see, uh, just super nice, sharp details. So I was shooting these images on this Velvia 50 that expired in 2012. Um, I got this in a trade with uh, my pal Sarah Epstein, um, who is another. Um, phenomenal 
photographer, um, large format. Uh, I'm gonna link her account uh, down below because if you are into photography, especially like large format portrait photography, um, Sarah is fucking amazing and totally blows me out of the water. <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, I will definitely link her account down below so you guys can check it out. Um, but that is going to do it. For this week's video and as always man i just uh, really appreciate you guys tuning in uh and uh tuning out for a few minutes i guess just to you know all the support that you guys give me is always always greatly appreciated um so if you liked what you saw please uh hit that thumbs up button uh you know that just helps me out um if you're new here you can uh, feel free to go ahead and hit that uh, subscribe button down below um again that just helps me out as far as i'm getting these videos out there uh, getting my work out there um you know obviously i want to reach as many people as possible with this super stoked on uh where the channel has gone uh, since i started it i never really thought that uh anyone would give a damn about what i was doing so uh, yeah it's pretty cool to uh, see a lot of you tuning in you know week after week and uh, keeping in touch with me and uh, building these relationships uh it's a uh, it's a really cool thing man um the internet and social media can be such a cool thing if you let it be but it can also be fucking terrible so um you know use it the right way speaking of social media if you'd like you can head on over to instagram and give me a follow there it's just at zach parks photo um i try to post on a daily basis uh, i do tend to um take weekends off every now and then but you know if you like my work and you want to keep up with it instagram is definitely the place to do it it's where i keep all of my updates and stuff like that going on uh, there is also a print shop where um y'all can purchase prints and all of the money made from those prints just goes towards helping me uh keep the lights on keep film in the fridge and keeping gas in the tank so that i can uh, get out and you know make these videos um so yeah if you like what you're watching and you want to support uh buying prints is a great way to do so. Lastly, if you feel so inclined, you can check out my website, uh, zachparksphoto.com. That is kind of like a one-stop shop for uh, everything that I do. It has links to the uh, print shop. It has links back here to the YouTube channel. You know, it's got uh, portraits, landscapes, just uh, places, just things like that all on there. Um, yeah, definitely a one-stop shop for uh, all things me. But until next time, y'all, I hope you're staying safe out there. And just remember to... Uh, you know, take it easy and keep shooting. I'll see you next week.